We mentioned uh, last episode that I was in Las Vegas last week for right. CES. Yeah, formerly right. known as the Consumer Electronics Show. I don't think it's actually the Consumer Electronics Show anymore. I think no, it's they just, just, they just CES. I think it's just C. It, yeah, it's just CES. It's like Kentucky it's cool. Fried Chicken or KFC. KFC. Yeah. It used to be Kentucky Fried Chicken. They changed it. I don't know Got why it. CES changed it. I, I think yeah. they... Easier. Uh, but no, I or think faster. it was a branding thing. I think they wanted to... I don't know why they would want to get out of the consumer electronics. Thing. I think well, maybe never, the the automotive yeah. thing and there. There used to be two shows, right? Maybe it was Comdex and yes. the Consumer Electronics Show. That's right. And we used to go to Comdex for because it was all computer stuff, and I was yes. in this business for yes. many, many years. Steve uh, Wynn was Comdex, right? And then and then I he sold so. that to the yeah, CTA. And they, and they just yeah. kind of shut it down after something. I wonder, what was it? I don't know what year it was. Doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. But yep. uh, so how, how was it? Was it a productive trip for you? Did you see interesting stuff? It, it, yes, and yes, and and I don't know um, the attendance numbers. They have not released yeah. those yet. Uh, my guess is they will, though, because it felt like a normal CES this oh, year. Nice. Nice. So this is the third year that CES has happened since the COVID lockdowns, yeah. right? So CES happened in January of 2020. It did not happen in 2021. It did happen in 2022. I didn't go largely because starting about middle of December, so many companies pulled out of CES oh, yeah. right. that, it, that it just wasn't worth my time to go. And the the folks that did go said it was like a ghost town. So. Yeah. But that's not surprising, right? I yeah. mean, given everything that was going on. Sure. Last year, I did go, and a lot of people went, but it felt roomy, uh, <laughs> for, for lack of a better term. It, you know, it was not crowded. There were people there, uh, and and certainly there was plenty of, of disease floating around. I think I came back with uh, yeah. whatever it was, RSV or something that was awful. Uh, but, uh, but it, you know, it was productive, and it was fine. This year, it felt packed. Uh, nice. at, at times, which, yeah. which is great. Also a little surprising, although I don't know why I'm surprised because I am a firm believer in getting together in person with people. Oh yeah. Uh, Absolutely. and it's, it's clear. I'm not alone in this belief, right? Uh, because we certainly had the opportunity to basically let all conferences and trade shows die, uh, we that could have, terrible. right? Yeah. We did well, we we did them online, yeah, you know, in our own weird ways and it it sucked. Yeah. But we would have gotten better at that as we always do, right? You know, it, we iterate and we we improve. But yeah, no, this CES is okay. back. Yeah, and we've done uh several episodes on how to maximize your time at at trade shows like this. So yeah. if you go up to businessbrain.show, uh there's a way to do it. And a, and a bunch of ways not to do it. Yes. To make it, and it, uh, it depends you know. on the show, too. Yeah, that's right. That's like, right. You, you know, some shows, if it's if it's small and it's all in one sort of easy to manage expo hall. Yeah. It, you can you can go in without a plan and probably be productive if you're desiring to be productive. Yes. If you go into CES without a plan, it, it doesn't matter how you're in what your intentions are. You will yeah. fail. At being yeah. productive. Yeah. You might, I mean, you, you might have some beautiful chance meetings. One thing that was interesting, all of my experience up prior to this year at CES steered me away from the show floor. And the reason was that people on the show floor were never happy to talk to press. I, I would attend oh, okay. in the capacity of press right. for generally for my Mac Geek Gab podcast, right? You know, and Mac Observer when we had it, learning about new products and that sort of thing. And there are press specific events that are absolutely fantastic at CES where it's just for the press and it's like speed dating for the press. It's awesome. The show floor was never that. It It was so bad that like you would go up to a booth and be like, hey, you know, I'm here with the you know and I explain like either the website or the podcast and then people would be like oh yeah 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 and just like basically say we're not interested or even if I did have a meeting with somebody half the time I'd show up and somebody else at the booth would be like oh yeah well Brian's he's busy talking to Best Buy or Got Amazon yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah. you can't members. talk to him now yeah. so they're looking for partnerships Customers. on the show yeah. floor mm -hmm. yeah and this year th that was not the case 
every booth ex- with one exception, every booth that we walked up to was happy to see us engaged, super like into it. And it's like, Oh, this is interesting. I wonder why that changed. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Um, my guess is that there are less avenues to se- uh, by which to sell one's products hmm. and getting into Amazon isn't a huge hurdle anymore. It's not like getting yeah. shelf space at Best Buy, right? So uh, maybe there's less of that to do. I'm sure there's some of it to do. Don't get me yeah. wrong, but but perhaps less. I don't know. I don't know. The the one booth that was the the notable sort of I, I was going to say exception, but they, they all the rest felt like the exceptions. This was like a blast from the past. Walked up, a guy came up. They had like some shiny like lights and light strips. I wasn't convinced that we were going to get anything valuable out of this anyway. Yeah, <laughs> Sky yeah. Sky walks up in a you know jacket and tie or whatever, and he's like, "Hey, thanks for coming. What you know? What can I do for you?" Explained what it was you know that we did. Like this, we do this podcast nineteen years. I've never seen anybody do an about face as fast as this guy did. He said nothing to us and just walked away. Wow. Not, yeah. a, cus- not a customer. <laughs> not a customer. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Not a customer. I'm done. That's that's yeah, it was, it was weird. But yeah, yeah. no, it but was, it was productive. Yeah. That's cool. That's great. So yeah. yeah, if you, if you want our take on how, on, on why trade shows are important in events like this conferences and how to get the best out of them, um, we'll put a link in the show notes at businessbrain.show or you, you can go up there and just search for trade show or conference. You'll find it.